Will Zalator is second in the Masters, playing well on the PGA Tour every single week, one of the future stars of the game, and has an incredible golf swing. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at his golf swing with driver, with iron, and from front on and down the line to really give you guys the best look at his golf swing, some of the things he does incredibly well, some of the things you could copy and improve about your golf swing, and maybe a few things that you should not try and copy as well. So let's dive straight in, guys. First of all, we're gonna have a look at Will's swing with the driver. This is an incredible look just from a few weeks ago with the driver. Absolutely looks awesome. Let's have a look at the setup position first of all. Beautiful setup. That posture is one of the best we've ever had a look at. If you do enjoy this video, by the way, guys, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to know what you guys think. We analyze some of the best golf swings in the world, bring you the latest golf news and have some fun playing some golf too. So, Will Swing, perfect setup position, perfect alignment, perfect posture. The guy hits it a long way. He is a long hitter. He absolutely rips it. And there's a few reasons why? Because he's not a big guy. He's skinny, you know. He yeah, he has some long levers, some long arms, but he is you know, doesn't look like he's going to be the strongest guy, but he hits the ball a long way. So there's a few things which you'll be able to copy to create some more power in your golf swing. So as we take this club back slowly, take it to parallel with the ground. Beautiful position there. Club perfectly on plane. So that face angle matching his spine angle perfectly. Love that position, really good there. He has taken the club away a little bit more with the hands. We can kind of see it's not as uh, late a wrist set as some of the other players we've taken a look at. He's kind of taken the club away a little bit with the hands, but he's still started to turn the body and the arms are still connected to the body as well. If we take it to the top, Slowly play it to the top. It's a huge wide golf swing and I absolutely love that. If we pause it at the top, look how straight that right arm is. Look how far away his hands are from his right ear. This is a thing Butch Harmon talks a lot about. If you don't know who Butch Harmon is, he coached Tiger Woods. You know, some of the best players in the game, Adam Scott, loads and loads of the best swingers of the golf club, Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, all those sorts of guys. So I love how wide this is at the top. Not a huge amount of wrist set, not a huge amount of wrist set, but keeping a huge amount of width. And if you saw one of my previous videos, we talked about how to create more power in the golf swing by creating more width in your golf swing. And Will demonstrates this beautifully here. Also look at his lower body, huge hip turn, huge shoulder turn. Everything's coiling up around the axis. Everything's loading to the top beautifully as we slowly start to play it down this club's gonna shallow perfectly the arms and hands are gonna drop and it is important to note this is a very athletic golf swing as he comes into impact if we pause it parallel to the ground here that is an athletic position look how open his hips are look how deep the arms are look how much external shoulder rotation there is you can see that beautiful triangle of daylight between his arms another good sign of the good ball striker his right elbow very tucked into him and this is an athletic golf swing now this is something i'm going to talk a little bit more about later and maybe something you shouldn't look at copying in your golf swing but as we play it slowly through to impact positive impact that is about as much rotation as you will see from anyone in the world. I would probably say that's even more rotation than Dustin Johnson gets in his golf swing. His hips are flush pointed straight at the target. His shoulders are very, very open too, but he does have a lot of right side bend and curve in his spine. And that's something again, I'm gonna to talk to you a bit more about because it's not something you guys should really be looking at copying, but Will is a young athletic guy and it works incredibly well for him and he generates a lot of power from doing this. As we slowly play it through, he actually kind of holds on to the face a little bit. He does like to hit a bit of a fade and then waits until late, slowly rotate it over and beautiful extension with the spine as well as we come through to the finish. So now let's take a look at Will with an iron. Then we're gonna have a look at Will front on and we're gonna talk about some of the things you should or maybe shouldn't look at copying with this golf swing. So let's take a look. Setup, 
Perfect again, beautiful setup as we slowly play it back. Pause it parallel to the ground. Looks actually from this angle um, like the club head is slightly more outside the hands. Beautiful position here. It's actually a bit more of a one piece takeaway. But look at that club face that beautifully matches the spine angle. And you can already see how that right hip is moving back and he's loading into the right side in his golf swing to generate all that power from the ground up. As we take it slowly to the top, Beautiful wide, no real wrist hinge until we get right to the top. Very, very minimal wrist hinge if we pause at the top. Very straight right arm again, love that. Huge amount of width, look how far away those hands are from the right ear. That is about as much width as you could possibly create in a golf swing. Beautiful uh, lower body movement as well, loading into that right side, coiling up his spine. He uses his body to generate so much power exceedingly well, his lower body, and really forcing himself off the ground to then generate that power into the ball. As he starts to play it down, we're going to see the club slowly shallow, slowly moving down. He gets himself in such a beautiful position. If we pull it parallel to the ground... Beautiful position here, absolutely perfect. Maintained good spine angle. Not as much rotation with this iron as he had with the driver. It seems he really goes after the driver a little bit more. This iron looks like a much more controlled swing or staying together. If we play it through to impact slowly, if we pause it at impact, again, Good rotation, but not nearly as rotated as he is with the driver. With the driver, he kind of reminds me a little bit like Justin Thomas, actually, the position he gets into at impact. With the iron here, he has uh, everything much more connected, much more in front of him as we slowly, slowly play this through. He holds the face open beautifully, doesn't let the hands flip and rotate over as he comes through to this beautifully balanced finish. So now let's have a look at Will from front on. This is a perfect example to look at why he does and how he does some of the things he does. And then we're gonna talk about some of the things you could or couldn't, shouldn't copy from this swing. By the way, tomorrow we are going to be doing another video all about what's in the bag of Will Zalatoris, taking a look at his golf clubs. So make sure you do stay tuned to that video as well. So let's dive in front on down the line. This is, looks like it's a three wood to me at the USGA. Um, as he takes the club back slowly, big wide takeaway here if we pause it parallel to the ground. We've taken a look at Tiger Woods, Roy McIlroy, everyone like that. They, uh, Bryson DeChambeau, they don't have nearly as much wrist, uh, sorry, they don't have nearly as much wrist hinge early in their swing. Like Will has a little bit more, not a lot, but a little bit more, not quite as wide a takeaway, but we can still see, I love how centered he stays to the ball. He never really lets anything move off of it. He's very much turning around one axis, which is great to see. And you can see that by looking at his hips and his head position, his spine angle, because they're not swaying away from the golf ball. As he takes it to the top slowly, if we pause it at the top, look how beautifully he has a huge, well, first of all, he has a huge amount of rotation in his hips and shoulders. You can see that by his shoulders are actually pointed past the golf ball, back more towards his right foot. He's beautifully loaded into that right side. That right hip has moved back really, really nicely as we slowly start to play it down. It's gonna, club's gonna shallow out. It looks like it gets more lag, but it doesn't really, it's just shallowing out. As we pause it parallel to the ground, again here we can actually see how much rotation he has. His belt buckle is pointing more towards the target and you can see that head has hardly moved at all, but yet he's actually loaded more onto his left side now onto the golf ball, generating that power and weight. He's stored up in that backswing through to the ball. As we pause it down into impact, just absolutely beautiful position here. I mean, there's not a single thing wrong with that, really. I mean, you can see a little bit how much his right heel, I guess, is up off the ground. But, you know, there's a lot of players who do that now. Colin Morikawa, Justin Thomas, a lot more. Xander Schofle as well. As we slowly play this through, he doesn't, you know, we can see there he's not overly flipping or releasing the hands and arms. Everything stays connected there together through to a beautiful balanced finish. Really, really good look at Will's swing. Some of the things I would say, first of all, let's talk about the things you could copy from this swing and you could take away and apply to your own goal swing. First of all, I love the position he gets into parallel with the ground. 
in terms of the club face. It is perfect with his spine angle. Also, but even before that, the setup position is pretty much flawless. You could, you know, copy that every day of the week. It is a beautiful setup. There is not a single thing wrong with it. As he starts to take the club back to the top, you can see how late he hinges the wrist. He kind of, he hinges them a little bit early and then he kind of maintains that tiny bit of hinge instead of like someone like Tiger Woods would have more of a gradual hinge as they get to the top and a later hinge. Will kind of more has a little bit of an early hinge in the wrist and then maintains that. I love how much width he has at the top of his swing. He's able to do this because he's very flexible and mobile and he gets a huge amount of rotation and loads up the body well. So it's important to note that because it's not a position that many, like a lot of us could get into, but certainly most people don't have enough width in their golf swing. They get their right hands, well, they get their hands and arms a little bit too close to their head instead of pushing further away, getting that width using their rotation in their swing. As he starts to come down, he shallows the club beautifully. Everything works together. He does rotate hard into the ball. I wouldn't recommend trying to copy this position from most people. It would lead to some serious injuries. Will obviously is athletic. He definitely will be spending a lot of time with physios in the gym, trainers, everything like that, working on his body, his mobility, his flexibility, and his speed. So I wouldn't try and copy that because for most of us, like myself, if I tried to do that, I would be injured within a few rounds of trying, just trying to make that motion. My body would physically not be able to. Also, he gets his right heel off the ground very early when he does that. And it would be very easy from this position for a lot to go wrong with a lot of people. Will has obviously, he's a young guy. I'm guessing this is something that's kind of always featured in his golf swing. So he's practiced it and rehearsed it. And obviously it's very, very consistent, working very, very well for him. Another thing to look at copying is how his on his follow through, he does no flip or release with the hands and arms or anything like that. Everything stays together. He kind of holds the face and gradually lets it slowly roll over a little bit after impact. But he that's why he has such great club face control. That's why he's playing so consistently is he's not relying on hands and arms and timing in his golf swing. He's using his torso, his legs, the ground and, you know, just rotating through it and getting super stable, consistent control over that club face. Let me know what you guys think of Will Zalatoris golf swing. He is a super exciting player. I have to admit, I was kind of rooting for him a little bit in the Masters. It would have been incredible to see him do it. He looks like a very talented young player. I'm super excited to see him play in the future. Let me know what you think of his golf swing. Comment down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow we are taking a look at Will Zalatoris, what's in the bag, so make sure you check out that video too, guys. I'll see you in the next one. As always, guys, grip it and rip it.